82 degrees Celsius. Imagine you sit there with a uh, short pants, you definitely burn your skin. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jun Han. Now, usually when you go to run your errands or you go to work, you'll park your car, leave it under the sun for a long period of time, right? What if I tell you that actually a lot of things happen to your car when you park it under the sun for too long? For example, in the US, more than 40 children die from being inside a hot car with no air conditioning, a closed cabin in just one hour. And within 10 minutes, they start to feel unconscious. Now, to give you a spot of context, a temperature of 42 degrees is all you need for your body, your internal organs start to shut down and your cells to be damaged. So that is pretty serious. And Malaysia weather is so hot, I think it can go up to 50 degrees Celsius as well. So that got me curious of how hot does a car actually gets under the hot sun. And that's why I'm making this video today to find out. But apart from health, it also damages your cars as well. So let's say your paint starts to fade, your steering wheel, the ladder starts to crack, the seats start to crack, and then your tire pressure changes and all sorts. So yes, without further ado, let's find out how hot does a car get under the sun. Okay, I'll be measuring the temperature of my red gloss right here. So I've opened the weather forecast app. So the weather now is 32 degrees Celsius and it's 1224. So the reason why I chose to film today is if you see, any other day is basically raining except for today, it's sunny. So it's perfect to film my video. And you can look down here, the weather today actually feels like 37 degrees, which is very hot. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this car here for one hour. So we come back at 120 and we're gonna measure the temperature of this car using a temperature gun. Okay, one hour has passed. It's now one o'clock and you can look up and see there's not much cloud left, meaning the sun is shining right through to the car. So I'm having a temperature gun here with me. So now let's measure. Okay, let's start with the hood. 74 degrees Celsius. So it's actually very hot, where you cannot actually touch for long. It's very hot. The headlights, it's plastic. So I would assume that it's not that hot. 44 degrees. Okay, let's head towards the side mirror. Okay, black color is supposed to be dark, it's supposed to be hotter because it's black. It absorbs heat. But it's 54 because this is plastic. Now let's measure the top and see. This should be the hottest. 87 degrees Celsius, so it's very hot. Okay, head towards the back. Let's try the boot. 81, and then this black piece right here, the spoiler. 79. So all these are actually very hot. You can't even touch it for long. Okay, just to show you whether a brighter color car is less hot as compared to a darker color. So let's find out. So just now this one here, let's measure here. Okay, 78 degrees Celsius. Now let's try measure my Avanza. 60 degrees Celsius. So it is true that if you spec your car in white color instead of a darker color, it's less hot. How about the B pillars? 75 degrees. The window. 63. How about the windshield? 60. Oh, not too bad. I would expect the windshield to be very hot. It's so hot, even my phone is acting a little bit crazy because it's overheating. It's okay. Now, the main point of the video is the interior. So, now let's measure. Okay, let's see. 62 degrees. The steering wheel. Let's try the top part here. This part always gets a lot of heat. 67 as well. How about the seats? 82 degrees Celsius. Imagine you sit there with uh, short pants. You definitely burn your skin. Okay, let's try what else? Okay, let's sit inside. Woo! Boiling. The infotainment screen. 65. Now, this piece here. This, this measure here. 87 degrees Celsius, super hot. Now, because this car is, is dark, and then this actually is not very, very tinted. So imagine if your car don't have any tin, it's gonna be about 90 degrees Celsius inside. And I'm boiling just for this video. Okay, let's try this part here. Okay, it's shady a bit, 56. But I'm actually very, very hot here because let's say if your dashboard all is about 80 plus degrees Celsius and the cabin is closed somehow, it will start to generate all the, all the heat and then we heat up the whole cabin. That's why it can easily reach over 50 degrees Celsius. But I don't have, a, sadly, I don't have any gauge to measure the temperature of the air inside. But yeah, you can know how hot is it being inside here. Oof, I'm actually sweating like crazy. And the weather today is actually not that bad as compared to other days. Some days are 
very 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 hot because these few days has been raining so it's not too bad but yeah of course it's still hot and then imagine okay imagine now if let's say you're in a closed cabin now i have the doors open imagine the doors are closed and then you just basically you're gonna be toast yeah so i understand why some people this is very dangerous so never ever leave your kids in the car with the air conditioning off i know this may be crazy but somehow it happens for some people so yes make sure you do not do that okay guys guess what my phone actually overheated so i had to bring upstairs turn on the fan and let it cool down for five minutes before using because my phone literally shut down because it was too hot so that shows how hot it is right now let me show you guys a few things of what could happen if you leave your car under the sun for too long and what it damages the first thing would be the steering wheel hey look this is a perfect example so over time the leather on the steering wheel will actually disintegrate and start to crack because it's very hot and then you form this sort of crack so yeah this kind of it's pretty hard to fix it you have to we upholster the whole thing so yeah this is one of the side effects of leaving your car under the sun for too long same goes for the seat as well you can see these are all the crack marks so all this leather actually you're supposed to clean it and condition it so that it maintains its original appearance and it's protected for a long period of time but then if you didn't protect you have all these lines this is actually not that bad you haven't actually cracked yet but it has the marking the second thing would be the paint job now for example you look at the avanza here you can see this part here is faded right yep and you touch it you got this coarse feel yep so basically that one because it's underexposed in the sun for too long so after that you can see the paint starts to become thinner and thinner and then eventually it fades so this is the origin color silver but now it becomes like whitish so yeah this is very bad if you think the paint on the avanza's roof is bad enough just take a look at this right here now this is not a paint this is actually a gloss black wrap so last time I wrapped it gloss black but the quality isn't that good so over time under the sun it actually embedded into the paint so it became as one so now it's a very thin layer and if you can see I'm not sure you can notice under the gloss black wrap is actually blue but if you see properly now you can see actually a tint of blue so it basically it becomes as one which is very bad so that now you can't actually peel off the, the wrap so now the only thing you can do for this is to repaint this whole roof blue again so yeah this is irreversible so this is a very very bad condition yep the next thing in the list you guessed it will be the headlights so because the headlights is actually plastic but over time under the sun when the uv ray shines there's a, actually a clear coat but the clear coat will start to fade become thinner and thinner and thinner and eventually it disappears and then that's when the headlight gets to oxidize so it becomes yellow if you notice there's a lot of car these days that are all yellow it's because of that or over exposure under the sun so yes you can see this one is not too bad but you can see it's actually pretty blurry this one doesn't have much yellowish but yeah this one is starting to turn and i definitely need to restore this headlight so this is another thing this will actually affect your driving so let's say you turn on the light it won't shine properly it will be scattered because it's all covered with yellow so yeah this is another thing that happens very very frequently and very often on cars when it's left exposed under the sun for too long next thing will be everything that is made out of black plastic on the exterior so you can see this rear windshield wiper is supposed to be black but then it actually faded so now it's like grayish like gray same for all this as well now this is in a good condition this is in a pretty bad one so you can see the difference same for the b pillar as well this part here actually fades this one is not too bad have a look at this you can see this one here see got all these markings that's pretty bad and then you look at the a pillar piece here this one also starts to you see it's not black anymore okay even the wiper blades if you lift it up this part here is actually made of rubber so imagine this thing it's down and then this windshield actually gets very hot so it actually heats up the rubber piece right here that's why you see a lot of people actually open it up like that when they park their cars so it heats up the part and then the part it will become hardened and it won't be flexible anymore so it reduces the efficiency when you use the windshield when it's raining so yeah this is another thing the last but not least would be dirt so let's say if your car is very very dirty got burp poop and everything and you left it under the sun for it to bake eventually just like the roof it actually embed embedded inside the paint so next time when you wash it off it actually still leave a mark right there so that is actually a very very bad thing because it actually goes through your clear coat and then goes all the way down into the paint 
and you want to remove it the only way is to go for a ceramic coating or polish to remove it I've seen cars where they have this leaf actually fall on the car like that and over time it rained and it, and it didn't move anything it just rained under the sun rained over the sun over a few cycles and this leaf actually <laughs> stick onto the paint itself so let's say we wash and everything it still leaves a mark there so yeah that shows how important it is to keep your car clean okay and that's it guys hope you guys enjoy i think i got darker because i really feel like i got sunburn it was super hot just now while filming so yeah this is actually a very short video and it's a pretty random video because i just got curious of how hot can a car be under the sun so yes if you guys have anything to add on in terms of what could damage the car in terms of when it's left over and it's left under the sun for a very long time please do leave it down in the comment section below so yes with that said i'll catch you guys next time bye